Ever since he was a young boy, Horace Mann was interested in learning and fascinated by the world around him. He lived in Franklin, Mass. with his father, mother, and brother. But when Horace was only thirteen, disaster struck, and his father died. And the very next year, his brother drowned while swimming. It was from that day forward that he dedicated his life to revenge by creating a strong, centralized educational system. He was no longer Horace Man. He forever became Horse Man. Uh, now after Horse Man had completed his transformation, he clearly had to finish up his education. Uh, this was the first step to becoming the educated equestrian we know him as today. Now in 1816, uh, Horseman went to Brown University where he studied law. Uh, in 1819, he graduated as valedictorian. Well, Horace Mann, or rather Horace Mann at this point of his life, was admitted to the bar in 1823 so he could practice law. So what happened to his career in law? Well, you see, shortly after he was admitted to the bar, he hit his head on it rather painfully and left. Yes, Horace Mann did have a career in politics. In fact, he was on the Massachusetts legislature and was president of the Senate. While he was there, he convinced the Massachusetts Assembly to create the Board of Education. He then left the Senate to become president of that board. This was like a dream come true for Horace Mann. He finally had a chance to put all of his ideas about education into practice. He believed that education was, from his own words, the great equalizer of the conditions of men. This still holds true today. Education has done so much for our country. Horseman really was a man of the people, a teacher of students, and a horse of the people. He believed that with education he could help everyone stop being poor stop committing crimes he really wanted to help everyone horseman did great things with the education system to the board of education he centralized control of schools to help make them more equal he improved curriculum and even started facilities to better educate teachers for teaching when it came to education there was no horsing around because he was the only one who could horse around horseman used his great power and mediocre responsibility to punish all wrongdoers by making them even more educated and sophisticated before they could do wrong. Horseman was able to create new job opportunities and even helped women when it came to finding jobs. He did so many amazing things. I would even go as far to say that he was the most important man in all of history of America of education in 1837 who was also a horse. He was really ahead of his time with his ideas about women. He believed that they should be equal to men. And did he directly help women in any way? Yes, he held a firm belief that women could gain equality by being teachers and influencing the next generation. He encouraged all women that were qualified to become teachers so they could better their position in society. Back then, this was a radical idea, and in my mind, it makes him the most important reverse centaur in American history. Horseman worked miracles on the American educational system. Instead of leaving schools saddled with the traditional religious requirements, he helped pass a law to make schools secular. He also revised and renewed the curriculum in order to spur on the learning of students. He also made teachers learn how to teach, which increased the value of a single teacher tenfold. He really created a better system for everyone involved. He also tried to make the environment for students better by discouraging corporal punishment. And what do you think was Horace Mann's greatest contribution to the education system? Well, as far as his greatest contribution, it wasn't directly for the school, but for the public. He held annual education conventions for both teachers and the public to be involved in. Every two months, he published a, published a magazine called Common School Journal, that talked about education for the public. 
He also published a yearly report about schools and the state of education in the state of education for the educated state so everyone can be more in a state of being educated. What's my favorite thing about Horseman? Well, there is this one quote from him that I really love. Someone once asked him how he could do all this wonderful stuff for the education system and not take anything for himself. And here's what he had to say. No one cared who I was before I put on the mask. I'm simply being the educator this country needs, not the one it deserves. And well, this is truly an inspirational quote, even though it has nothing to do with the question he was asked, and it was also a quote from Batman. In his later life, he decided to try different professions again. Serving on the Board of Education for a few years and making so many influential changes, he decided to move on with his career. In 1848, he was elected to Congress. He wasn't very interested and always voted nay. After that, he ran for governor of Massachusetts in 1852. It was a very close shave, so close in fact, that he cut his cheek and lost the election. After that, he accepted the position of president of Antioch College, where he closely and personally guarded the holy hand grenade of Antioch. He remained at Antioch the rest of his days, even sometimes teaching classes, forever keeping his passion to educate the youth of our country. He died tragically on August 2nd, 1859 in Yellow Springs, Ohio. Tears to my eyes. Horace Mann was never a national hero, but Horace Mann was. Horace Mann did more for the educational system of this country than anyone ever has or will in the future. He is the most important man and the most important horse in our national history. Mm -hmm.